Funerals have begun in Azerbaijan, a day after border clashes with Armenia killed scores of soldiers on both sides. The two countries have been fighting over the mountainous area of Nagorno-Karabakh for decades. But this is the deadliest violence between the neighbors since a six-week war killed over 6,500 people in 2020. Armenia said that Azerbaijani shelling had forced at least 2,750 people to flee their homes. We came outside and saw that it was no longer possible to stay in our homes, that serious shelling was taking place. We were very scared. We ran away from the houses to avoid being trapped under the rubble. The ex-Soviet countries have traded blame for the flare-up of hostilities. Uh, it is evident that this new aggression was planned well in advance. Uh, there was a lengthy propaganda campaign spreading uh, most uh, unimaginable allegations of so-called military provocation by Armenia. We've been constantly rejecting those. Armenia has accused Azerbaijan of occupying a pocket of its land seized in Tuesday's clashes and has appealed for help from ally Moscow. Azerbaijan, meanwhile, has received public support from the Turkish president. We find Armenia's violation of the agreement that was reached after the 2020 war resulted with Azerbaijan's victory to be unacceptable. The whole world should know that, as usual, we stand by our Azerbaijani brothers. Recep Tayyip Erdogan and Russia's Vladimir Putin will discuss the fighting when they meet later this week. Russia helped broker a peace deal between Baku and Yerevan two years ago, but Moscow has since been distracted by its war in Ukraine, which may have provided a power vacuum that's rekindled tension.